With us once again, but this time she's actually here on my set, is Meredith. How are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming back. So last time we just were able to Skype you in mm -hmm. because you were in the middle of doing trade shows and all kinds of craziness was going on, but now you're here. Yes. So last night we had a wonderful dinner together, which was so much fun, and I got to hear some fantastic stories that I didn't even know about. <laughs> so now this first bag right here, mm -hmm. makeup junkie bag. No, this yes. one, that's, whose yes. bag does that belong to? That, my friend Lindsay, one of, my, one of my best friends and my top producing sales rep currently. So um, yes, we manufacture lay flat, leak resistant travel bags in all different sh shapes and sizes. They have these wonderful interiors. They were designed to hold full size palettes and brushes because there was no makeup bag in the industry keeping up with this. So I just made one for personal use one day. It holds about 60 cosmetics. I don't know if you can see that. It packs completely flat and it's 100% leak resistant if something spills inside the bag. And and uh, next thing I knew, I was on Shark Tank with this product, and here we are. We wholesale to about 5,000 stores nationwide, and we manufacture them all in Houston at my facility. And you started out just as like this this mom. This yes. mom. You are a mompreneur. Mompreneur. Definitely a mompreneur. <laughs> yes. And not only that, but when you did open up that uh, location, you actually kind of like brought the kids with you, right? Mm -hmm. You set up their own little table, their yes. own little office for they them. They have a coloring station, bean bags, and they terrorize everybody in my office, especially in the summertime when school's out. <laughs> I love the story you were telling me last night that when you first started you had bolts of fabric everywhere. Yes, I would step over them in my master bedroom and my Lindsay, my friend who's here with us today, she was like, how do you live like this? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. So I moved into a small office, probably about 1,200 square feet. And now we have 18,000 square foot of showrooms and a warehouse 18, and production. 18,000 square feet of yes. showroom and production. From a kitchen table. Sometimes From I'm a like, kitchen table. did this just happen? <laughs> Meredith, that is extraordinary. Thank you. Just an amazing journey so far. And it keeps growing and continuing. Yeah. So laying flat is important uh, yes. because, oh, yeah, I know, it's, it's so nice. It's hard to pack, um, especially, I don't like to check bags, so in my carry-on, stays at the bottom of my suitcase, it holds everything I need, my products won't leak onto my clothing because of the leak resistant seams. So the flat bag is what um, we were on Shark Tank for, but when you can sew, you just can sew anything. So That's that we what make you said, right? Curling okay. bags, we make yes. sunglass cases. I know, I, I keep looking at all this stuff. We here make these bags, we just make everything. I know, you make everything. <laughs> Everything because when you sew, you can create anything. Yes. I grew up, um, and my grandmother had a Singer sewing machine, and we would sew my school clothes because I, even at that young age, didn't want to look like everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, and it was also, you know, just a, a great time that we would spend. So every Labor Day weekend, we would we'd have all the fabric, and we'd sew all the school clothes. And back then, there were like these; they were called handkerchief. Uh, shirts, mm -hmm. right? And you'd have one piece in the front, one piece in the back, and then you'd have like almost like a rectangle and you would just throw it <laughs> over your shoulder, right? But by learning those skills, then like you said, you could sew anything. Yes. So you started out with, you said you were on Shark Tank, which was cool. Yes, for this um, bag, I actually own the design patent on this flat packing bag. Um, you know, design patents are different than utility patents because they're so ambiguous, you know, it's like you can't patent clothing or purses typically, but it was a unique application to the travel industry, and so I was granted the design patent on it. So that's kind of cool. cool little fact, and we just sew and we wholesale to stores and proud to do it. And the craftsmanship is absolutely beautiful now. We right? actually lifetime guarantee every product that we make because of the wow. integrity of the materials that we use, and we have a very, very low return rate, so I'm able to honor that, which I'm very proud of. Well, not only do you have a low return rate, but there's actually value in your bags, mm -hmm. right? So your bags sometimes, especially the originals, it's almost like the Xavier Roberts Cabbage Patch dolls <laughs> in a way, right? It's like yeah. if they have these little tags that say uh, Makeup Junkie, um, they are often listed on like eBay and all these yes. other different places. This particular bag is Lindsay's. It's one of the first one I made at my kitchen table. It's still in perfect condition after over four years of her using it daily. And um, this is the one I think I told you Blake Lively carries this one, which yes. I'm super proud of. She put it on her Instagram. So I was thankful for that. And um, that was after right after like the Met Gala or something like yes. that. And she just loved it. And yeah, she, yeah. in the car with her. She's eating her cheeseburger and there's her makeup bag right next to her. But um, this print is no longer available. The mill that makes this fabric no longer makes it. And somebody auctions went off on social media for $700 and the retail price in the bag is actually $48. I was in shock. I was like, oh Ooh. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> but they save, just had to have it. I'm going to save all my originals just in case I <laughs> need them for anything. And the backpack, 
Yes. Oh, boy, that is sporting. I love yeah. that. So tell me about that. <laughs> okay, so basically as I'm branching out into other product lines, um, I just, it's hard to find a really, you know, sexy backpack, a cute backpack. So we make these, they have a waterproof interior, pockets, everything's wipeable, washable, and 100% lifetime guaranteed. They have a luggage strap for your carry-on. You just slide it down on your suitcase, roll it through the airport, and yes, one of my... <laughs> proudest new products. Yeah, it's know. actually stunning. Thank we have a you. lot of performers uh, that are working, you know, on our staff like Bella and Jenna and, you know, and I can see that that's like the perfect size to like take wardrobe in, mm -hmm. you know, or even somebody like me, it's like this quick day trip or even college, right? You want to have something that just makes a statement. Yeah. So, and, and then you put your attractive. makeup junkie bag in it. <laughs> we all, all of us MJ girls carry backpacks wherever we go and we get tons of compliments, which, you know, is so flattering to me because when you make something and people actually enjoy it and want to buy it. It's just a sense of pride that I almost can't explain, you know, very fulfilling. Now you started out with humble beginnings. Mm -hmm. So um, you started getting recognized. How does that feel knowing that you, you start at one place and then you're able to like be self-sustainable and also provide a living for other people? Yes proud of who we employ. We employ local, obviously made in Texas, made in America. Um, I know it's very odd. I was telling Donna last night at di you <laughs> at a dinner that I, we were at a restaurant one day and somebody had sent a drink to our table and we we're like, who's that from? And this girl holds up her makeup junkie bag and waves at us. And I was like, oh, she knows who I am, you know, and the kindness that people show. And so it's just, it's pretty cool. You're also very kind. You're also very philanthropic because just recently Nashville. Can you talk, talk to us about that? Yes. Yeah, so we're partnering with a, a charity called My Bag, My Story, and it's a woman named Kara who was helping foster children who moved from house to house. Their things are in trash bags, and she's basically like, this will not do. So she sells these duffel bags, and for everyone that's sold, one is gifted to a child. So she asked me to be the manufacturer and to help out with the making of the bags. And then the fabric company that I use, that one of my biggest vendors, I had said, hey, where's that fabric? I need it for this charity. We've been waiting on you. And he's like, well, what's it for? And I told him in his heart, he was like, I'm gonna donate that fabric to you. So this domino effect of wonderful people, all a part of that. And then um, we partnered with a local hospital in Houston, um, Memorial Hermann Hospital. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but uh, we donated bags that they auctioned off and we raised over 50000 dollars for breast cancer too so those are our Meredith. two big ones that we do Meredith that's so great and you call everybody that works for you MJ MJ girls yeah yeah all right, MJ, MJ girls, girls or guys it's all a little them. family yeah <laughs> and um, what is the most important um, tip you would like to give a future entrepreneur um, I think that a lot of people do not move forward with a dream or a plan because you think, oh, I couldn't possibly, you know, like I was telling you when I applied for Shark Tank, you know, I put in my application online and I'm like, huh, yeah, right, you know, that, like, that's ever going to happen. And then one day I was standing in front of those cameras and I was like, this is really happening. Oh my gosh, is this real? You know, the fear holds people back from taking a step forward in the direction they want to go. But at the end of the day, what's the worst that can really happen? You know what I mean? It doesn't work and you go back to doing a different job or back to what you did prior, there is nothing wrong with that. I say all the time, if this thing ever goes down the tube, I'm gonna be a speech pathologist again, which was what I was before I made the bag business. So once you remove that fear, you can conquer a whole lot. You're right, absolutely right. I always say to um, people that ask me for advice, maybe to write yourself a permission slip. Ah. I, Donna Drake, <laughs> give myself permission to do blank. Yes. And then I fill in the blank. I still do that sometimes. <laughs> I, mean, I give myself, you know, um, years ago I had participated in a motivational kind of, you know, seminar that you go to or whatever. And they had these boards and you had to like break through the board, mm -hmm. right? And um, so on one side I put, you know, local show. And on the other side I put national show. And I knew if I could just break through that, that my show would go from a local show to a national show mm -hmm. and I was like oh it, but it's it was the fear that was holding me back mm -hmm. and the second that I went and I in it the bro, uh, board broke in half I was like oh, you know and sometimes you just need those like little things where there's yeah. a permission slip those little <laughs> visual things so do you have a vision board for yourself or, or something that you implement like a little I tool? have um I have this mindset of contentment with the blessings that my life currently yes. has but Gratitude. always have something to reach for don't reach for something so devoutly that you're not appreciating what you currently have right now. If things go the same way we are now, we stay the same size we are, I will live a wonderful life and be very blessed for that. But I have goals, obviously, that I hope to reach and different uh, milestones for my business that I look forward to hopefully reaching. So yeah, kind of maintaining what you have and being okay and blessed for that, but always have something else to look forward to. Meredith, you are a blessing. 
absolutely a blessing. I'm so glad that we've met. I feel like now we're real friends. Yes. You know, you were on before and I, there was something magical about you that I just like adored. Um, and having you here <laughs> now with just your energy, um, thank, thank you, you so much. Well, I was so excited to get to come in person this time. So thank you for having me on your You're welcome. Too. I know we have cool fabric too, right? I know. Like, I, it's not in the form of As a, a bag, fabric but person, this I know. is fabulous. It's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Tebow. Um, so thank you very much for joining us. You have got to check out their website, right? It is Meredith right here on The Donna Drake Show. Thanks for watching.